The brand new Kia EV6 GT is about to join some very esteemed company. The cranked up version of Kia's mid-size electric crossover is an emission-free muscle car with horsepower capacity that surpasses some much more expensive options. With its two motors producing a combined 577 horsepower, this family hauler should reach 60 miles per hour in the low threes. The EV6 GT is capable of 161 miles per hour, although the majority of electric vehicles have their speed limits set low for reasons related to both range and decency. It features a drift mode as well. The GT, which is expected to weigh a reported 4,780 pounds and ride on Hyundai Extremely Kia's sophisticated eGMP platform, promises to be incredibly trim by the chubby standards of its sector. Furthermore, according to Kia, this platform can provide ultra-rapid DC fast charging rates of up to 240 kilowatts, which is enough to fully recharge the relatively small 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack from 10 to 80 percent in 18 minutes at a 350 kilowatts DC fast charge station. Visual distinction is minimal when compared to the all-wheel drive EV6 GT line, which is just below the EV6 GT in the hierarchy. The GT certainly doesn't yell about its added performance. A liftgate spoiler is included, 21-inch wheels are standard, needed to fit around larger brake discs, and the front and rear bumpers have been discreetly modified. The GT has new performance touchscreen displays inside, semi-bucket sport seats upholstered in microfiber, and a GT button on the steering wheel that allows access to the new dynamic mode, which joins the standard eco, normal, and sport settings. More major changes occur mechanically. Compared to the present all-wheel drive EV6, the GT's motors are much more powerful, with the front unit's maximum output increasing to 215 horsepower and the rear unit's maximum output increasing to 362 horsepower. The back motor adds still another cutting-edge EV component, a two-stage inverter that employs silicon carbide semiconductors, together with a torque biasing differential that modifies the amount of thrust given to each wheel. This decreases heat produced and the motor is working harder and increases efficiency by up to 3%. Similar to other high-performance EVs, Eco restricts the system's peak power at 288 horsepower, while Normal and Sport raise that to 460. The outcome is a car that is extremely fast. The GT responds to the accelerator quite gently at the top of the pedal's length, just like the current EV6. The presumably little utilized eco mode, which seems to add an inch of deadness to the top of the accelerator, makes this more clear. A standing launch in GT mode, however, produces g-forces that reposition internal organs as the rear tires struggle to gain traction, and pressing the pedal harder rapidly summons powerful thrust. This was despite Kia using performance Michelin Pilot Sport for S tires rather than low rolling resistance rubber on the dry asphalt of a Swedish test track. Kia claims to reach 62 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds in Europe, but we believe the timing for our benchmark 60 miles per hour will be considerably faster. Our test vehicle's time to 60 miles per hour with 320 horsepower was 4.5 seconds. The additional option of the drift mode is also unlocked by pressing the GT button on the steering wheel. You won't be surprised at all to learn that this is a ton of fun, even though it's difficult to envision too many EV6 purchasers using it even sometimes. The system was shown to us by Kia on a skid pad, where it allowed the GT to be easily maneuvered into astonishing angles of power over steer, with aid from the front motor and covert assistance from the smart rear differential helping to maintain them as speed increases. If nothing else, the most potent vehicle Kia has ever manufactured can be judged by its ability to smoke tires. The active diff, however, impressed more at speeds closer to those found in the actual world. When GT mode is chosen, the ability to apply greater torque to the outside rear wheel aids in cornering and imparts a sense of rear-led handling. Because of this, the GT feels thrilling even without losing grip. The steering is accurate and direct, just like in EV6S with less power, but little low-level feedback comes through the heavy assistance. The ride quality was excellent. The adaptive dampers that come standard on the GT are confidently compliant even in their stiffer mode when handling dips and bumps. Even though the GT's springs are firmer, there is still noticeable roll when cornering. 
excellent cruising refinement. On Sweden's well-maintained motorways, we were unable to verify the GT's stated peak speed of 161 miles per hour because 5 km per hour over the official speed limit is considered brave. However, the GT's cabin remained tight and well insulated at highway speeds. The intentionally different personality provided to the very related Kia and Hyundai cars has resulted in the EV6 GT's softness, which actually fits it well. The future Hyundai Ioniq 5N, which will utilize the same drivetrain, will undoubtedly be firmer and more aggressive. With far to driving, the GT is nearly identical to the current EV6. Although the dark, hard materials distinguish the GT from the more opulent alternatives that its performance puts it in competition with, the cabin is roomy and well-built. Similar to the 12-inch primary touchscreen, the navigation system feels clumsy and a little dated, and the user interface is more functional than stunning. Thankfully, drivers can switch to Apple CarPlay in Android Auto. With the caveat that we don't yet have official EPA ratings, the EV6 GT trails similarly powerful rivals in the area of range. The European WLTP value of 263 miles indicates an EPA figure of around 225 miles and is a 65-mile drop over the largest rear-wheel drive 77.4 kWh variant. Pricing is still up in the air, but if EV6 GTs headed for the United States follow the lead of Europe, where the vehicle is currently on sale, it will be a great deal for electric performance. For comparison, the Kia is both faster and almost 50% less expensive than the Porsche Taycan 4S across the Atlantic. Kia will pull off the same ruse here if it can price the GT around $70,000. The EV6 GT demonstrates that Kia is pushing its way to the forefront of the EV revolution, with a wave of more electric models expected to come soon after.